In this lab, we are going to use AWS, uh, Amazon Web Service, and also Rift Miner uh, to identify the tweet topics uh, by using the AWS, uh, Amazon Comprehend uh, AI services. So first, uh, let's start Rift Miner and let's create new folder. So in this lab, we are going to use Rift Miner to collect the data and also to clean the data and also visualize the data. So let's create a new folder and create a new process within that folder. And here we are going to collect some tweets first. So if we search Twitter, and we can bring this Twitter operator, and I'm going to use the predefined connection, which contains the information about my um, API credentials. And also I can define the query. So uh, right now when I am recording this video, so it's also, it is November 3rd, 2020. So it's also day of the uh, US election. So I'm going to use election as a keyword. And I'm going to collect the most recent and most popular, and I'm going to try to collect 1000 tweets. Okay. Uh, next, let's select the attribute. So we want the tweets, we want uh, just keep a subset of the data, which is the ID and also the text. Okay, we just want ID and also text. And uh, next, I want to save the data into an Excel file. Okay, so let's say write to the Excel file so that I can share the data with others. So. If you are unable to collect tweets on your site, you can use my demo data. Uh, I'm going to define where I want to save the data. So, uh, uh, I'm going to save that one to uh, my downloads folder. And I'm going to call it demo tweets. Okay, uh, let's write. Okay, uh, so now if I open my uh, downloads folder, and if I open those tweets, and I should say uh, roughly uh, 1,000 tweets, so maybe less than 1,000. Okay, uh, I have 900 tweets, okay? Uh, so that's great. Okay, again, so if you cannot uh, collect this on your site, and I'm going to upload this one on Canvas so you can download the Canvas and also follow the, the remaining process. Uh, so let's save this process as collect tweets. So this is lab 11, so I collect tweets. Okay, uh, so now we have those tweets and we want to export those tweets into separate TXT files so that the, the file name will be the tweet ID and the content will be the tweet text. So we're going to do that by creating a new process. And let's load the data first. So let's load the tweets. Okay, and text ID are recognized. Okay, so now you can see those are the tweets. Uh, and also those are the IDs. Okay, uh, so let's load the data. And let's save this process. Uh, let's say we call it uh, write to text. So now we have loaded the data, so we want iterate each single tweet. So let's use the loop example. So loop uh, example here. So let's bring that one. So here we are going to iterate each single examples. And now we have iteration macro. So those are the, um, the, that can tell us the status at each single iteration. So let's also um, open that macro window okay so it has uh, those values like the cross dot time 
and those examples index. So let's go inside of those loop examples. Here, let's say we want to extra extract the, the macro. So let's bring that one. Uh, okay. And for this extract macro uh, operator, we want the data and also values. And to be specifically, we want the ID, which we'll call it tweet ID. Okay, and also for the indexes, we want the index for each uh, example. So here we are going to type use a cause of macro that exists, already exists, so that is example. Okay, so that we will iterate each example and we will extract the attribute ID, um, which is tweet ID, and we'll pass that one to the macro that we defined here, which is tweet ID. And next, we want to extract a document. So let's see, document, and we want to extract document. So it extract document, that after this extract macro. Uh, so here we want to drag extract the text, okay, because we want to write the tweet text into the, um, txt file and the index will be that for each based on the index of all the examples. Okay, so that will in each iterations we'll move on to the uh, to go through all the text. And next finally we're going to write the text, the document which is a tweet text into a txt file. So let's find out the right document. And we pass extracted value to write document. And we can enable the overwrite if you like. And for the file names, so let's select our uh, download folder. And for the file names, we're going to call it uh, percentage public bracket tweet ID. So those are the macro that we extracted dot txt. Okay. Okay, for some reason it's not showing up here, so let me type it again. So, percentage, curly bracket, tweet underscore ID dot txt. Um, I'm go also going to enable this overwrite, and also for the encoding, I'm going to use utf-8. So let's choose uh, utf-8. Okay. Okay, and I have error here, so I should use document write to document. Okay, uh, so that is my process. Okay, so let's try one more time for this write document because we do want to write to the downloads folder. Okay, so make sure we select downloads folder and we tap that one. Okay, uh, for some reason, it, this is still not showing the full path. So to make sure that we do save the data to the downloads folder, so let's just copy the path. Okay, so let's type the full path. So C user downloads and slash, and also we put percentage and, and also use macro.txt and make sure we are using this UTF. Okay, so basically the process is that we load the tweets that saved in Excel files uh, into RectMiner and we use this loop example um, operator so that will loop each example. Uh, it has an iteration macro which is called example. Within this loop uh, operator, so we extract the tweet ID, which is attribute of ID. We pass that one to this tweet ID um, variable and we are following this uh, example index will be the percentage uh, curly bracket example. So those are the existing macro. And we also extract the text information. So that is uh, convert that one into a document. And we write that document to our downloads folder. The file name will be the text I tweet ID, which is a macro that value that we extracted from here. 
and we are also using the UTF-8 encoding. Okay, so now let's run it. So now you can see uh, we are extracting each single tweet ID, and you should also still see the example index. And now let's go to the, our download folder. Okay, so now you can see we have extracted all the tweets uh, into separate TXT files. Uh, so now we can um, open those tweets. Okay, and we can see each single tweet um, contain each single TXT file contains a single tweet. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, uh, so let's save this process as write to txt file. Now it's, it's time to move on to the uh, AWS Educate. So let's log in to our AWS Educate. Okay. And in this AWS Educate, let's go to our classrooms. Remember, we are going to use a classroom credits and not your start account credits. And here, let's say we go to this class, Intro to Machine Learning and also Artificial Intelligence. And we are going to access a console. So in this class, we have 50 uh, credits. So we can use those 50 credits uh, for the uh, natural language processing this week and also image processing next week. So let's go to console. And first, let's go to S3. So S3 is uh, online data storage. Uh, let's create a bucket. A bucket is similar like a folder. So let's call it I480 uh, demo. I mean, the, the bucket name must be unique. Uh, so if you have errors that uh, the, the name has already been used and you have to use a different user a bucket name. Let's keep everything as default and let's create bucket. So now this bucket has been created and let's go inside this bucket and let's upload files. So it's like that we are using the OneDrive or the Dropbox, etc. So let's upload the files. So let's upload all the TXT files we just uh, created. So almost more than 900. Okay. And now it is not updating, uh, uh, uploading. So we acknowledge that we don't want the version control. So, um, okay. And hit upload. Okay. So now you can see it is uploading. So uh, it may take a little bit. Uh, so next, let's go to our Comprehend. So uh, AWS Comprehend is the service that can perform the natural language processing. So let's go to Comprehend. Okay, uh, so let's right click this one. Uh, so here you can see you can do the real-time analysis, but in this case, because we have almost 1,000 tweets, so we are going to create an analysis job. Let's create a new job. Uh, we are going to do a sentiment analysis and also topic modeling. So the first, so let's do a sentiment analysis. Um, you can call it the sentiment. And the tab will be the sentiment analysis. And we assume that all the tweets are in English. Okay, so let's choose English. And where is your document? So we are going to use the data from our existing document, which is loaded to S3 bucket. So let's check if there. Okay, so this upload is success. So now you can see we have nine. 900 files, almost 1,000 files. Okay, so let's say we, we are going to use our existing data into our S3. Uh, so you can see now we have this bar hit that is available. So let's choose that one. Input format. So here you can see we have one document profile. Okay, so let's choose one document profile. 
And where do you want to put your output data? So that is where do you want to save your result? So let's choose the same bar key. Okay, but let's create a subfolder within that bar key to for this uh, sentiment analysis. So let's call it sentiment. Uh, it is up to you to want to encrypt. So let's say no. And here we need to define the IAM rules. Remember that IAM allow users to access your resource and also allow services. For example, in this case, it always complicated to access your resource, for example, in this case, is S3 Barking. So we don't have any existing rules, so let's create a new one. Uh, let's just add permission to any S3 bucket. So just in case uh, you want to reuse this rule many times. Although it is not recommended, so the best practice is just give the least uh, access uh, to your service. But um, since it's a demo, so I'm going to use any S3 bucket. And I call it I480 as the name suffix. And now let's create this job. Okay, so now the job is being created. Okay, so once the job is being created, you will be directed back to this page where you can see we do have the sentimental <coughs> uh, job which is not being submitted. So if you click that, you can see the idea of this job and also where is your uh, input data. And, and also the, the other information like the status in progress. Okay, so let's go back to the job. Let's create another job. So this time we are going to do the topic model. So topic modeling and the type we are going to choose uh, topic modeling. And again, we are going to use our existing data. So let's choose the same data. And the format will be one document per file. Okay. And for the topic modeling, so you have to specify the number of topics. So there's no right number of topics. So just as a keying analysis, so there's no right keys. So this is very subjective. So here I'm going to choose five, okay? And if you ask me why, I, I don't have any reason. I just use five. <clears throat> and where do you want to save your result? So let's say we want to save that into a same bar key, but I want to save the result to a new subfolder, so I call it topics, okay? And here we can use our existing rules. Remember that from our previous analysis, we did create it and I am rules, so this time we can reuse that rules. You can see that we have I for eighty, and let's create this topic modeling. Uh, it, this is pretty quick because I am rules has already been um, created, uh, so you can see the status. So now it's in process. The date location is here. Okay. Uh, so let's just wait. Uh, so normally the sentiment analysis will be finished within five minutes and topic modeling will be finished within 10 minutes. So let's just be patient. Okay, and now we see that the sentiment analysis is now finished. Uh, it took about, yeah, more than eight minutes. So more, uh, more than five minutes. So let's open it. And we can see that the, the data is saved in our uh, S3 bucket and our sentimental. Um, we can just download the data through this link directly. So let's open that URL. And we can download the data. So let's download. Uh, so now the data is also go to our downloads folder. So if I go to downloads folder, okay, and Unfortunately, so uh, it is still been downloading. So unfortunately, AWS provides the data into this TIGZ uh, format. So uh, if you are using a Windows computer and, and also a Mac computer, so if you don't have any um, tool that to extract or unpack this uh, file, uh, you can 
go and also install this 7-zip, which is a free tool. Uh, I do I think that has a version for Windows and also support Mac. So you can download and also install that tool first. And once you have installed that one, and you are able to extract um, this uh, trgz file. Okay, so I'm going to right click. And also you can see here I have uh, 7-zip being installed. So I can extract to um, this folder, which is at the bottom. Okay, so I double click again and also right click and the 7-zip extract one more time. Okay, so now I have this output. So for the sentiment analysis, AWS provides the data into a JSON file. So if you open it with Notepad++ Plus, or if you're using any other Notepad, and you can see this is in a JSON file. So basically it tells you that for each single tweet, what is sentiment, and also it also provides sentiment I uh, score so that you that mixed, uh, negative, neutral, or positive. Okay, so the final the final sentiment will be determined by the highest score set in this sentiment score. So, uh, if it's in a JSON file, so uh, right miner does provide operators that can load the data into. Uh, JSON file. However, I tried that one earlier and uh, it's not that easy to use. So instead, uh, I'm going, to, I'm recommending that we just go to this website. So at json-csv.com and let's upload our CSV file, which will convert the data into a JSON file. So let's go to download folder, output. Okay, so now you can see that JSON file has not been converted into a CSV file. And let's download that CSV file, which again to our upload download folder. Okay, so that is a, this is for the sentiment. So let's, let me rename that. Okay, so that is for the sentiment. I'm going to delete all the other data. Which has already have already been uploaded to uh, AWS. Okay, so that is sentiment. Uh, let's check other service. So analyze jobs. Okay, uh, looks like topic modeling is still in progress. So let's look at the result of the sentiment. So let's open right minor again. So here we are going to, we are going to use right minor to visualize the data. So let's import the data. Go to download folder. So let's say sentimental. Okay. Um, and we don't want a header. Uh, and also encoding format. So let's choose uh, UTF 8. So, um, okay. So UTF 8. So now, now we can see that the, uh, the header is not being recognized, which is nice. Okay, um, and let's also save that one to our lab 10. Okay, so now we have data. So we know that the file ID, that is each single tweet. Uh, we know that what are the sentiments and also their scores that being mixed and scores being negative, uh, neutral, and also being positive. Okay. Uh, so starting from here, we can create some very nice visualizations. So for example, if we go to the statistics, and you can see that uh, most of the tweets are neutral, okay, uh, which is nice that, uh, and we have like almost 300 tweets are pretty negative, and also 100 tweets that are pretty positive. And also we have two tweets that has a mixed feelings. And if we go back to the statistics, and you can see for the mixed feelings, so there are a few tweets that are, have very high scores. Uh, for the ne negative feelings, we can see there are several tweets that have very high scores. For the neutral, okay, and 
you can see that we have a lot of tweets that our scores are, um, are pretty high. And also those are for the positives. Okay. So that would be the result of the sentiment. So we can see most of these are neutral, which is um, kind of surprising. And I thought most tweets will be negative, but uh, we do have 200 tweets are negative and also 100 tweets are positive. Okay. And also if you are interested and you can go back to check those text files, see that whether or not their sentiment are right. So for this, for this tweet, uh, you can see whether or not these are negative or not. And we can actually do that very easily in the Tableau prep. So let's first um, do some data cleaning. So let's say we want uh, cut all the .txt transform and replace. So let's say we want delete .txt. Okay, for each single file, so which will so that we just keep the tweet ID. So that looks like pretty nice. Let's commit that change. And next, let's add more data. So let's load the demo tweets. Okay. So here we can see we have tweets text and also we have tweet ID. Uh, for the tweet ID, the tab are the numbers. So let's convert that one into categorical. Okay. So now we have two uh, data set, the tweet demos, demo tweets contain ID and also the contents of the tweets. Sentimental contains the identified sentiments and also the ID of the tweets. So let's merge those two um, data set. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. So let's just use tweets and let's use inner join, okay? And let's also join, uh, use ID to join the files. Okay, let's use ID to join the file. Uh, file is a tweet ID as well. So let's update preview. Uh, now we can see it's pretty nice. So file has been joined successfully to the tweet ID. So let's commit that change. So now we have the sentiments and also we have the text. Okay, uh, so let's see, let's uh, remove this one. Let's remove those scores. Okay, so now we have zero sentiment and you can just read, okay. So whether or not those sentiment analysis are uh, accurate. All right, uh, so now let's check about our topic modeling. Well, it is still in process. Okay, um, after sorry, 30 minutes. Okay, so more than 30 minutes, uh, the topic modeling is also finished. So let's go inside topic modeling. And we can see the data is start into our um, bucket and also topics folder. So let's go to that folder and also we download the data as well. Okay, and AWS put that one into a TARGZ um, uh, file. Okay, uh, so let's use 7-zip to extract that one. And let's extract the data one more time. Okay, so open the folder and also extract the data one more time. Okay, uh, for topic modeling, so uh, AWS provided the topics in and also the topic terms in the CSV file. So um, let's just load those both data into a right minor directly. So here, uh, let's load Uh, the topic uh, document topics first. Uh, again, let's choose uh, the UTF eight. Okay, and next. Okay, so let's save that one to our local folder. Uh, so we see the document names. Okay, which again is a tweet ID. And also topics, 
Okay, so um, each document belongs to a single topic. And remember, we have five topics and also the proportion. Okay, so if we look at the statistics, and we can see that the most tweets are classified into the second topic, which is the topic one. And also we have um, we have the least tweets set in the uh, topic two, and also we have topic three, and also topic four. Okay, uh, so let's do the same thing. So let's go to Tableau Prime. Okay, and I have an Let's commute that. Okay, uh, so let's load the data, which are the topics. So let's say select the first column, go to transform, replace, and then we want replace.txt with space. Let's say applied. Okay, and commit the transform. Uh, let's also remove the uh, Proportion. Okay, so here for each single tweet, we know which topic it belongs to. So let's commit that change. Uh, let's also merge that one to the sentiment. So let's select sentiment and also merge. Okay, and we're going to merge with the topics. And let's also use the inner drawing. We choose the files to a document name and upload. And commit to merge. Okay, so now that for each single topic, we know the sentimentals, and also we know that which topic uh, each single tweet belongs to. Uh, so next, we want to also see that what each topic are talking about. So let's go to design view, and this time let's load the topic terms. So which is the topic terms? Okay. Uh, let's also choose a UTF-8. Okay, uh, let's change the topics into from integer into categorical, so polynomial. Okay, so we have four topics. And you can see that those are the most frequent uh, keywords in each single topic. And let's save that one to the topic. Okay, uh, so now we have each single word, uh, all the popular keywords in each topic. So um, let's create a visualization. So let's use a word cloud. And let's turn and also the weight. When the election is the most popular. So right now we are looking at um, all the um all the keywords so let's go back to design view and uh, actually let's um, create a new process let's bring the topic term here uh, see here let's see we want field the examples uh, so let's say we want topic equals let's say let's check the zero and run it Okay, so that for the zero topic, and you can say they are talking about uh, scares, boners, okay, and also some curse word. And if you go to Turbo Prep, uh, we can also actually sort, I think. Okay, so those are the tweets, okay, belong to the first topic. And let's go back to design view and let's check the second topic. So we should topic one, right? Okay, so second is talking about elections and also uh, the two candidates. And let's check the 002. Okay, and let's check this 
the next one okay just election read uh, election day and let's check the last one okay violence terrorism etc okay so those are the five topics and here you can see for each single tweet, we do know the sentimentals and also which topic they belong to. And again, so if you remember that for the sentiment, most of the tweets are neutral. And in terms of topic modeling, so most tweets are talking, uh, belong to the uh, second topic, which is topic one. And also topic one is, those are the keywords that from the second topic. And where you can also use the filter to uh, look at different topics. So for example, if we look, want to look at the in topic one, and we can see that we can read those tweets.